guys, so if you're new here, hi, my name is Maddie. This is going to be my life for the past couple years um, and my goals for 2021. So, like, I'm going to go and compare how, like, I've changed over this past couple years and especially in quarantine, I've changed a lot. Um, but how, like, life has been for me these past couple years and where my head's at now and just to get it out, I guess. So I'm going all the way back to 2018 because that's really where a lot has happened for me. Um, anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and start. So back in 2018, um, it was two years after high school, uh, me and Brianna stopped being friends and it was just a hard time emotionally. Like I didn't know how to to feel emotions like all I felt was anger which really all anger is underneath of it is sadness so anyway um so all of that was going on in 2018 I moved out of my parents house moved in with this girl that uh, I was friends with in high school and uh, I was living with her and I was done with dating guys every guy that I was dating up at this point was doing nothing but cheating on me or lying to me about it and anyway so I was done basically with dating. I was I told her I was done. I just wanted to do like just do me, basically. And uh at the time I wasn't going to college or anything. So, um out of the blue, I met my boyfriend now and it just clicked instantly. And I mean, we're still together now. <laughs> so two and some change. Anyway, um, I was dating this guy and like just freshly started dating and um, my uncle passed away and um, if you know the story then you know but I'm not gonna go and share that again because it was very bad um, but that was very early into me and my boyfriend dating and uh, it was rough um, thankfully, he was there for me, um, and helped me get through it, but that was, like, straight out the get-go, me and him just started dating, family member passes away, and I was a wreck, and I'm very thankful for him being there for me, because it was a very hard time in my life, but anyway, um, So I'm living with this girl from high school, I meet my boyfriend, family member passes away, and then my roommate was like, hey, I met this guy too, great, but she wanted to move in with him. Now that would have left me with no home, and I really did not want to move back to my parents' house. Love my parents and everything, love you guys, but... I just really didn't want to go home like I just got out on my own it's only been a couple months of me living on my own and then I would have to move back to my parents house I didn't want to have to do that and me and my boyfriend were dating a couple months at this point and I felt it was like it was too soon he did as well but then we also talked about it and we're like well we spent all this time together anyway and it would be kind of pointless to move into my parents house and anyway so anyway we just ended up moving in together in his house and um then I met all of Jordan's friends so with that after I meet like his, his all his friends and stuff like that it comes around like Christmas time all right so basically, I'm just going to roll over to 2019. So with 2019, there comes a lot more problems. Uh, I lost a lot more family members. I've lost some friends. I, I lost animals. Um, and by lost, I mean they died. Um, it's, 19 was a very hard year. Um, so anyway, I was also having problems with my boyfriend's friends the ones because I moved to a new area I didn't know anybody so he introduced me to his friends and stuff like that and everything was fine to begin with but then 
he said she said stuff I'm not gonna get into it because it's really it's a waste of time because right now I, I mean it's been a year and some change at this point so all we could do is just grow and learn from it I mean I can own up to my mistakes and say like I'm sorry for what I did but I mean I am sorry for what I did but I can't go back and change it you know so like the only thing that I could do is accept it and move on and become a better person and that's all I'm trying to do so anyway he said she said stuff um I actually go back to college at this point and I fell out with his friends during this time and I just so happened to be taking a critical thinking class and um when I was starting to take that critical thinking class it made me realize that I wasn't really thinking like I was thinking but I won't really like deep thinking like I would hear somebody make a comment at me and then I would just trigger jump back instead of listening it listening to it processing my anger processing my sadness processing all of my emotions and then speaking whereas before I would just jump attack and don't care who it hurt whatever um so because I fell out with his friends and I'm taking this critical thinking class, it got me thinking, is it me? Am I the one that like needed to be fixed in this situation, say with these, these friends, you know, like, am I the one that caused all the issues? So I did a lot of self-reflection over 2019, uh, well, yeah. 2019 really um and um 2020 as well because <laughs> I mean I've been stuck here in quarantine with the dogs while my boyfriend works so like really it's been me just thinking a lot <laughs> and um so over 2019 and 2020 I have found that um my personality type my Enneagram is eight if you don't know anything about the Enneagram the Enneagram is basically like a personality type quiz thing anyway the eight is the challenger or the truth seeker and the more that I read about it the more I'm like huh that is me <laughs> so um anyway the challenger comes across as, I heard a really good analogy, like, um, comes across as a dog with a sock. All right. The dog is thinking, I just want to play. I found the sock and I want to play with it. And I want you to play with me. The person is thinking, where the hell did the sock come from? You know? So when I heard that and I like have been taking all these classes and I'm learning like, conversations and sociology and critical thinking and just all of this making you think um I learn who I am and how I come across to people and then it was like a light bulb went off I was like what I come across as a dog with a sock like the person's thinking where the hell did the sock come from not okay let's play but like, I don't know, I just, I thought it was funny because, you know, I guess I do come across as a dog with a sock. I'm coming to somebody with an issue, a topic, an opinion, and I may get a little loud and aggressive, but I'm coming as best intentions. Like when you're playing with the dog, they're going to growl, they're going to show their teeth, but they're playing with you, you know, like they're, they're, the, they feel the most happiest that they've ever been that because you, you're playing with them. But, like, you're still wondering where the hell did the sock come from? And then that's all you're thinking. Well, I'm just thinking I'm having fun. And I'm having a great time. Who cares about the sock? You know? I just found the sock and want to have fun with it. But I just, I just felt like that really, like, hit home. And, uh... I could see how I can come across as, you know, 
a little bit bitchy or where the, where the hell did you get this information from? You know, which I could see how over the past 2018, 2019 has been. And so I've been getting myself in check and making a mental note and being able to sit back and process this information because I want to be a bit, I, want, I am a good person at heart. Like I want nothing but the best for people. Like that's just my intentions. I, I have good intentions and that's, that's all I want. But when I, cause I am very truthful, like I'm bluntly honest. And then sometimes I'll just say things that like I hear without thinking like for instance with the friend problem it was a rumor that I heard and I spread it and then I'm th now thinking like oh shit that was dumb as me like why would I do that like that's dumb but I can't go back and take it back you know like it's oops well that's just what I heard so like I see now that it was wrong but I can't go back and change it and fix it, you know, but half the situations that are the problem, I don't, honestly, I don't remember, um, because I have my own problems, my own issues, because everybody's going through something that you don't know about, and, um, I just want to be a better person, you know, like, I am not a bad person, I am a great person, <laughs> and I have a big heart, but, like, I'm not going to stand and let somebody walk all over me or belittle me and make me feel like my that my point is invalid or my emotions uh, are invalid or anything like that. Like, I don't want to feel like that. So, I push people away and... I just say the first thing that comes to the top of my head because it's a little bit bitchy and I'm a little bit mad so I'm angry you know I don't want to be like that anymore like I'm not I'm not angry all the time like I have a big heart like I cry a lot you guys like I'm about to cry now like I'm just a very big crier and like most of the time I'm just hurt because somebody could do something to hurt me so bad. I don't know. Anyway, um, 2020, I finished another year of school. Uh, it's 2021 now. So my goals, just to get a better understanding of my emotions and my feelings and be able to process the anger, the sadness, the, the happy, all of that before I speak. So I come off, like, I come across as an adult ha trying to have a conversation rather than, like, a toddler having a tinter tantrum, you know? Like, I rather, I just, I want to be better. <laughs> That's it. That's it, really. Like, I just want to become a better person and have better communication with people and um, just open up to people a lot more, too, because, like, I don't really open up to people, but when I do, I think I open up too much. So, like, I need to find, like, that healthy balance, I think. I don't know. Um, most of the time, I just end up pushing people away. But I'm tired of being alone, so I guess I gotta start letting people in instead of pushing them away, huh? <laughs> Thank you for watching. Um, if you liked it, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you liked it, share with your friends. Um, also leave any comments down below what are your, um, New Year's resolutions. I would love to hear them and have a conversation. So, thanks you guys. See y'all till next time. Bye. Yeah.